again and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another natural dyeing adventure and this time we're going to be doing our old faithful goldenrod. This was what I used for my first natural dyeing video and it worked super well, better than any other of the things that I've tried before. So we're going back to it but this time we're going to try something a little bit different. So the classic color you can get with goldenrod, which I believe you can see on screen, is the yellow from the flowers, which are kind of gotten weird and fluffy. I picked them about a week ago. But I think if you include the stems, you can get green, like a yellowish green. It's kind of what I've been into lately. I've been very into greens. So that is what we're gonna try. And we're also gonna do something a little different with the fabric, and that is try some linen fabric. If you yourself would like to try some natural dyeing, I highly recommend this book, The Wild Dyer by Abigail Booth. It has great information about like what a Morton is, why you need one and all kinds of stuff and it has beautiful photos and illustrations so i highly recommend it if you're just trying to get into it um, it's been very helpful for me just learning that technical side of it instead of just like the process side so i'm just on my first step i started with a pot of my water is just starting to get bubbly and i'm going to add some alum to it for my mordant and my linen fabric which is drying somewhere else which it doesn't really need to dry, it's hanging somewhere else. And that will allow the linen to take the dye. So the first time I did this, I used muslin because I was afraid, since it was the first time I had ever done something like this, I wanted to use the cheaper fabric, but that turned out amazingly. So I'm really hoping that the linen, which is a fabric that I like more, will also turn out right, but we'll see. I would also like to apologize if you hear the fridge noise. Um, the This is the only place I can set up the camera and it's right in front of the fridge and the fridge decided to make noises right as I went to film. So that's great. So let's do it. I have taken my fabric out of my alum bath and you saw me rinse that off a little bit and now we are going to start another bath of water which is completely new water which is annoying but whatever and we are going to put the goldenrod in it to make our dye so for this I actually am sacrificing this laundry bag I was gonna use cheesecloth to make like basically what's a giant tea bag so that I can just pull this out instead of straining my fabric into a different pot and then putting it back into this pot so that I can put the water in it, which is just a pain. So it's just gonna be straight in here and then I can just pull this out really easily. Um, there might be some bits left, but whatever, it's close enough. So, all right, time to go. Hope it fits.
So this has been boiling for a little bit over an hour now and it's a really dark. It doesn't look green at all, which I'm kind of confused about because there was a significant number of leaves and stems in there. But we'll see how it turns out. So I'm going to take out and turn it off for now. Then I'm going to take the tea bag out of there. I have a trash can with some bags down here to catch hopefully most of the liquid. And then fabric can go in and we can it occasionally to make sure the yellow is evenly distributed and then we'll have some yellow fabric. not from the goldenrod and instead an iron modifier. So we're doing that now because this is very yellow and not green at all. So we're gonna try it. I don't know if it'll work. I got mixed answers from Google on whether or not you have to do it directly afterwards or if you can wait. Um, so I'm gonna get this wet. This is getting warm. Um, here's my iron. It's steel wool and vinegar and it looks disgusting. But I made it a few months ago for a project that never happened, and now it'll finally get some use. So we're just gonna go for it, and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> After giving it a thorough rinse, it turned into this nice, subtle, kind of sagey green, which is exactly what I was going for. So I'm super happy with this, even though I forgot to film a wrap up. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye! Which is kind of what I've been into lately. I've been very cats. What you doing, girl? Would you like some toes to sniff? Can I offer you a toe in this trying time? Mm -hmm. This was 